Welcome to the Philippine Motor Show. This is Autofocus. I'm Ray Louis Gamboa. Here's a menu of some of our features on this edition of your electronic magazine, exclusive to the automobile and its industry. Starting off with reviews of two vehicle models presently in the local market. A compact sedan from GAC, the 2019 GA4 1.3 LHL Turbo AT, and a pickup from Ford, the 2018 Ranger Raptor. We'll also have a glimpse of some of the latest automobile models and concept cars from around the world. This week, we have the 2019 Lamborghini Aventador S Skyler Grey and the 2019 Mercedes-Benz A250e. Plus a feature-to-feature -feature comparison of two subcompact SUVs, the 2019 Honda HRV and the 2019 Kia Sportage. Together with the latest news and developments in the local auto industry, we shall have the recently held media test drive of the 2019 new Honda BRV on our special feature. The next 60 minutes is all about the automobile. This is Auto Focus, and we'll be right back after this short break. Expect high performance from Phoenix Fuels. We made it! Now with Pulse Technology, delivers enhanced power and acceleration to make every trip come alive. Every time I'm on the road, I can also expect high performance from Phoenix Fuels. We made it! Now with Pulse Technology, delivers enhanced power and acceleration to make every trip come alive. Suzuki, all new El Tiga. Life is beating fast. Find what you're waiting for. Seven seater in style. All new El Tiga debut. part of the 2019-2020 Autofocus People's Choice Awards, the only nationwide poll to determine the country's most popular car brands and models. It's easy. Log on to www.autofocus.com.ph slash AFPCA 2019. Then vote for as many as five different models that you believe should become the 2019-2020 Autofocus Automobile of the Year in separate standard and premium luxury categories. Vote every day until September 30, 2019. The Autofocus People's Choice Awards will win. You choose, you decide. Vote now. Welcome back to Autofocus, the automobile show. We start this edition of your electronic magazine with a review of one of the latest automobile models from GAC. Our featured vehicle here in this car review is from a Chinese brand that leveled up its game when it comes to compact sedans. We're talking about the GAC Motor Philippines and its smallest sedan, the GA4. Find out more about it here. Watch this. The exterior of the GA4 exudes sportiness while staying true to the contemporary GAC fashion. Its dynamic design is attributed to its body size, which conveniently falls under the compact sedan category. The subtle character lines that highlight its curves and its front fascia that defines the exterior of the GAC GA4 right off the bat. For one, the chrome grille may look simple, but it's functional when it comes to enabling different parts of the car. There's also these halogen headlights, which is only available in our top-of-the-line variant here. A set of 17-inch alloy wheels also put the GAC on another level of attractive as it powers through the road. 
let's hop on in the GA4 and check what it offers. For a Chinese car, it's worth noting that the GA4 isn't filled with hard plastic materials inside. Almost every corner is wrapped in premium, sturdy material, specifically the steering wheel, so that's a plus. There's an ample space in the cabin as well, as there's enough head and leg room for the passengers to be comfortable throughout the ride. Moreover, the seats are wrapped in leather, with the back seats available and 60-40 split configuration. For added convenience, the GA4 is packed with features that center on the convenience of the driver and the passengers. For one, there's an air conditioning vent at the back for the passengers at the rear to remain cool during long drives. It's also equipped with cruise control, rear parking camera, parking sensors, power seats, push start, and auto headlights. On top of all that, the GA4 comes with an infotainment system that further makes the interior of the compact sedan exciting. There's an 8-inch infotainment system that comes available with AM, FM, AUX, USB, Apple CarPlay, and Android connectivity. Sound is enjoyable through four speakers. It's time to check what's under the hood of the GA4. Our variant here is powered by a 1.3-liter inline 4GL turbo that is capable of giving out 136 horsepower and 202 newton meters of torque. This engine is mated to a 6-speed automatic transmission that transfers all power to front wheels. This very engine specification is what makes our variant here the top of the range. The other variant of the GA4 runs on a 1.5 liter engine that is coupled with a 5 speed manual transmission. The suspension of the GA4 is comprised of a McPherson strut with coil spring at the front and a multi link at the rear. This ensures the smooth handling as it powers through the road. When it comes to safety and security, the GA4 has an abundance of features that target nothing less. It includes anti-lock braking system with electronic brake force distribution, stability control, traction control, hill start assist, and four airbags. That was the GAC GA4 from GAC Motor Philippines, a compact sedan that doesn't disappoint. The latest auto industry news and developments right after this break. Motul is the most trusted motor oil of the top teams competing in some of the world's most grueling race competitions. The WRC, the WTCC, and the Japan GT. Motul is the only 100% fully synthetic motor oil in the market. It has anti-oxidation properties that prevent premature thickening and aging due to thermal stress and guarantees total engine protection. For more information about Motul engine oils, visit www.motul.com.ph or visit Autoplus Sports Zentrium located along EDSA, across White Plains. Ah, the things that make my day. My mini-me, my kind of jam. My passion. My blend of coffee. My inspiration. That's all good with the all new Vios. My Vios, my drive. Ako po si Michael Kaliwag, labing dalawang taon ng patrol crew para sa Enlex Esitex. Bilang patrol crew, handa kong marap sa anumang di na sa ang sitwasyon. Naalala ko pa noon, 2009, Bagyong Ondoy. Papatrol kami sa index nang may nakita kami isang pamilya na natrap sa bubong. Kahit kailangan magpatrol, nagdesisyon kami na sagatin at iligtas sila. Kami ang index SETEX Patrol Crew. Paagapay at katuwag nyo sa mas maayos na paglalakbay.
welcome back to Auto Focus, and we now have the latest auto industry news. Isuzu Philippines continues with its Fuel Eco Challenge series this 2019. This time, various Isuzu car clubs take center stage. The first leg of the car club's edition took place at the IPC plant in Laguna, where 12 participating members of the Mu X Owners Philippines compete among each other to gain the most mileage from the Isuzu Mu X RZ4e and D-Max RZ4e in a 4.2km course around the IPC headquarters, the same route taken by last year's finalists. Today is the second leg of the 2019 Isuzu Fuel Eco Challenge Isuzu Club Edition. We have gathered here in our assembly plant with the representatives coming from the Team Filipinas to experience first-hand our RZ4E model's capacity to perform under low fuel consumption. The champion for each model brought home a 7,500 peso fuel voucher and Isuzu trolley bag, while the rest get 1,000 pesos worth of fuel vouchers and Isuzu premium items. The 2019 Isuzu Fuel Eco Challenge Car Club Edition is Isuzu's way of promoting and advocating fuel-efficient driving among existing Isuzu vehicle owners and eventual Isuzu vehicle buyers. We have made this Isuzu Fuel Eco Challenge as a part of our advocacy in promoting fuel efficiency driving, which is necessary today. Burmas Auto Philippines, the official distributor of Mazda vehicles in the country, has officially unveiled five new variants of the all-new Mazda 3. Tonight, we just launched the all-new Mazda 3 in the Philippines. This is actually the first model of the seventh generation for Mazda Motor Corporation. So, in this new vehicle, we're actually elevating the status of the brand Mazda and also of the nameplate, the Mazda 3, you know, to more premium status compared to the rest. The elite range of the four-door sedan and five-door sportback variants of the all-new Mazda 3 comes with a fuel-efficient 1.5-liter Skyactiv-G engine. Meanwhile, the premium trims are equipped with a powerful 2.0-liter engine along with additional safety and comfort features. We also have the driving dynamics. And this is represented by the Skyactiv architecture wherein we improve different components of the car, the seats, the tires, the chassis, all of them work in harmony to make the driving experience more pleasurable. And finally, technology. The technology in the Mazda 3 is all really up there, and especially with safety. We have Mazda radar cruise control, we also have smart city brake systems. All of these new technologies contribute to making driver more pleasurable experience for everyone. You will see a lot of premium features, especially from the low variant all the way up to the top end. So, for the all-new Mazda 3, LED headlamps come standard, GVC Plus for added exciting driving dynamics and more comfortable ride. We also have a standard Android Auto and Apple CarPlay for uh, added entertainment for the user. We also have the adaptive driving display, a standard 7-inch cluster meter. And actually, words are not going to be enough to express it. It's better that actually the public come and see and experience the all-new Mazda 3. According to Burma's Auto Philippines, the arrival of the all-new Mazda 3 signifies the new era of Mazda Premium, which elevates the nameplate's exceptional driving experience through its design, craftsmanship, engineering, and safety. Volkswagen Philippines, in partnership with the Leica Auto Group, recently inaugurated the Volkswagen Santa Rosa dealership situated along Santa Rosa Tagaytay Road. This is the grand opening of Volkswagen Santa Rosa, which is the only dealer of Volkswagen in Laguna at the moment, although our group is supposed to open a few more. Uh, right now, it's the leading uh, Volkswagen dealer here in our area and welcoming all people from this area to visit a autoplex of car brands here in Santa Rosa Autoplex. I think there's something like 10 car brands in one place with a giant parking lot. So it's like an auto mall and Volkswagen is right in the middle. As the company's eighth dealership in the country, the Volkswagen Santa Rosa dealership comes down in history as the first one from the brand established in Southern Luzon. 
According to Volkswagen Philippines, it targets mainly the upwardly mobile markets of the Calabarzon area, which records a significant increase in its economic growth within the vehicle buying age demographic of 20 years old and above. This dealership is a full dealership, so it will offer all our products in terms of the vehicles that we have available. It will also offer accessories and other related items. And of course, for people who do decide to purchase a Volkswagen, they can be confident that the service will also be available. So they can bring their cars for servicing here. And we expect that really they'll only be visiting this dealership once a year mm -hmm. because we're once a year PMS lang, no? For its part, like Auto Group says that Volkswagen Santa Rosa will pave the way for their stronger presence in the Calabarzon area. The Volkswagen Santa Rosa dealership would showcase and offer Volkswagen full product roster, the Santana, Santana GTS, La Vida, and La Mando. The showroom is a, a large showroom, world-class facility. We have uh, enough display facilities for the full model lineup. I think you can see eight cars in this showroom. Of course, it also has a full lineup of parts and service and even body shop. So everything you need, we can handle here in uh, Volkswagen Santa Rosa. Out of focus. The country's premier automobile news and features electronic magazine takes another short break. Stay with us. I'll be right back. Ah, the things that make my day. My mini-me. My kind of jam. My passion. My blend of coffee. My inspiration. That's all good with the all new Vios. My Vios. My drive. Ordering today is now on the web. Watch this episode or other past episodes of the country's longest running motoring program any time of the day by logging on to our website, motoringtoday.ph. Motoring Today is now online. Just a click away. The Tactical Survival in Arms Expo is back on another leg with a more intensive take on the global issues on environment, economic uncertainty, security threats, and the like. Visitors may avail of the free seminar during the event. The Visayas leg of the Expo will take place on September 5-8 to at the Cebu Trade Hall, 3rd level of SM City Cebu. Admission is free. You can pre-register online by logging on to the Tax Expo site. See you at the Cebu leg of the 2019 Tactical Survival in Arms Expo. Suzuki, all new El Tiga. Life is beating fast. Find what you're waiting for. Seven seater in style. All new El Tiga debut. Part of the 2019-2020 Autofocus People's Choice Awards, the only nationwide poll to determine the country's most popular car brands and models. It's easy. Log on to www.autofocus.com.ph slash AFPCA2019. Then vote for as many as five different models that you believe should become the 2019-2020 Autofocus Automobile of the Year in separate standard and premium luxury categories. Vote every day until September 30, 2019. The Autofocus People's Choice Awards will win. You choose, you decide. Vote now. Welcome back to this edition of Autofocus, the country's premier automobile TV and online magazine. Here's Head to Head, our feature to feature comparison of the latest automobile models belonging to the same category. In this head-to-head, -head, we have two subcompact SUVs that take pride in their fresh offerings. Both of them exude outstanding design and engineering. They're none other than the latest generation Honda HRV and Kia Sportage. Watch this.
we have here the Honda HRV RS Navi and the Kia Sportage GT line. Let's start off with the respective powertrains of our featured vehicles. Under the hood of the HRV is a 1.8 liter SOHT iVTEC engine that generously produces 140 horsepower and 172 newton meters of torque. The front wheels receive all power courtesy of the continuously variable transmission with Honda's Earth Dream technology. Meanwhile, the Sportage is powered by a powerful 2.0 liter common rail direct injection diesel engine that gives out 185 horsepower and 41 kgm of torque. These figures are matched to a 6-speed automatic transmission with Shiftronic and Shift Lock that transfers all power to two wheels. It's time to check out the more exciting parts, the exterior and interior. The HRV is a facelifted model, however, the changes are subtle and not that obvious. The front fascia features a bolder and wider U-shaped grille compared to its predecessor, topped with this iconic honeycomb pattern. Meanwhile, the LED daytime running lights and headlamps as well as the taillights further define the bumpers that come in glossy black accents. Another thing that highlights the exterior of the HRV is the 17-inch sport black alloy wheels that make it more of a stunner on the road. On the other hand, the exterior of the Sportage is tough-looking and rugged. The front fascia is highlighted by its trademark Tiger grille that boasts projector-type LED fog lights. The Sportage gets reshaped bumper corners, adding more character to the car. The GT line comes with 19-inch alloy wheels that make it more of a car one should look out for. Up next, the interiors. Inside the HRV, one thing that would catch one's attention is the simple and straightforward dashboard. It's neat yet doesn't lack anything. The important areas are highlighted by these piano black plastic inserts, which are new for the HRV. Moreover, the front seats come with manual and seat height adjuster, while the rear seats are reclining, 60 40 split type, and are all wrapped in leather material. The HRV also offers generous space and offers the passengers to sit and move comfortably during long rides. For added convenience, the HRV is equipped with a lineup of technological features that ensures nothing less. It includes a telescopic steering wheel, an automatic climate control, cruise control, and brake hold function. On the other hand, the interior of the Sportage matches its bold look outside. Everything is leather, the seats, the steering wheel, and every other part of the car like the center console. When it comes to the seats, the front are equipped with slide, recline, and height adjuster configuration. At the back, passengers are treated to a 60-40 split folding with center armrest with cup holder. The Sportage offers ample space for all passengers as well. For added cargo, the rear seats are foldable. Here are the offerings of Sportage when it comes to added convenience. Tilt and telescopic adjust steering wheel, cruise control and dual zone full auto climate control air conditioning. Let's take a look at the infotainment systems of our two cars here. The HRV comes with a Kenwood 7-inch touchscreen infotainment with navigation. It is available in Bluetooth, USB, built-in Wi-Fi, Apple CarPlay, and Android Auto connectivity. For the Sportage, it comes with a 3.5-inch LCD display that is available in AM, FM, CD, MP3, aux in, and USB port and is iPod ready. Sound is enjoyable courtesy of six speakers. Safety and security is also a priority in these two cars. For the HRV, it comes with reliable safety features such as six airbags, anti-lock braking system with electronic brake force distribution, ISO fix, immobilizer, and vehicle stability assist among others. Meanwhile, the Sportage is loaded with features that ensure nothing less such as dual and side curtain airbags, anti-lock brake system, security alarm, immobilizer, and stability control to name a few. Those were the Honda HRV and the Kia Sportage, two subcompact SUVs that offer what Filipino drivers need. More about the automobile here in Autofocus as we usher in our segment featuring the autos of the world, spotlighting concept cars, as well as newly launched and about to be launched automobile models from around the world. For exciting viewing on this edition of your Automobile Electronic Magazine, we have the 2019 Lamborghini Aventador S Skyler Grey. Let's watch this. 
On the occasion of Monterey Car Week in California, Automobili Lamborghini presented a unique Aventador S interpreted by the art of Skylar Gray, the young American artist considered as the rising star of world street art. The one-off Aventador S by Skylar Gray symbolizes the fusion of two artistic concepts. On one hand, the automotive art of Lamborghini, where the unique design form always characterized by tall lines, three-dimensional volumes and geometries and stylistic elements of the past is combined with groundbreaking technological solutions. On the other hand, the art of Skylar Gray. At just 19 years old, Skylar has been called the Fresh Prince of Street Art, and his iconographic pop styles often brought him comparisons to artists the likes of Andy Warhol, Keith Haring, and Jean-Michel Basquiat. He is the youngest artist to have his work exhibited in museums and international art fairs, and he was named the 2017 Forbes 30 Under 30 list of the most influential artists worldwide. Delivered to the artist as if it were a blank canvas, the car was painted in the new Lamborghini paint shop just recently inaugurated in Santa Gata, Bolognese. The creative process, which lasted nearly a year along with three weeks in the paint shop, was carried out in collaboration with an interfunctional team of technologists and specialists in painting, logistics, assembly, and quality who were involved in the project from the feasibility phase right through the production process. Despite the high level of complexity of the work, with the support of the team, the artist has brought to life the first street legal work of art on four wheels. NLEX Viaje Tips presents Healthy Road Trip. It's time for that much-awaited vacation, but here are a few things to watch out for. Sitting for long periods of time can form blood clots in your body like in the legs. To avoid that, stop for a quick break, get up, and move around to get your blood pumping. Car air conditioners speed up dehydration, so make sure to drink water frequently. Lastly, while driving, Protect your eyes from the sun by wearing UV-blocking sunglasses. And for a smoother trip up north, you can now drive all the way to your destination with one RFID. Get your Easy Trip RFID sticker now. Be it fine dining, a romantic garden wedding, a relaxed casual meal, or an important business event, Illustrado is the place to go. Aside from its famed paella, the Illustrada restaurant, which is located within the history-laden walled city of Intramuros, is also the favorite destination of food gourmands for its famous calios and lengua and other classic gustatory offerings. Illustrada restaurant, only for the foodies. Welcome back to Autofocus. Our special feature is next. For this special feature, we are going to the scenic province of Bataan for the Honda test drive event featuring the refreshed BRV. Let's see what went down during the two day event. Watch this. Honda Cars Philippines together with members of the motoring media braved the roads of Bataan for an adventure-filled test drive event featuring the brand's refreshed seven-seater SUV, the BRV.
conducting our refreshed BRV test drive event with 25 journalists. We departed the BGC area and came to this uh, baton to test drive new uh, BRV. <music> We are here now at Anbayakob no, in Bataan and we just had our stopover here for the test that, that we did for the BRB. So we went to the expressway, the Bagak Maribeles Road. These are paths filled with mud because we want to test how powerful our BRB is. And we would also check on how comfortable it is riding the new Enterprise BRB. Okay? Both the 1.5V CVT and 1.5S CVT variants paraded through cities to showcase its power and capabilities. This also allowed the BRV to show off its refreshed exterior, specifically the new front fascia, new 16-inch alloy wheel design, and new rear bumper design. On top of that, the 1.5V CVT variant receives additional exterior updates including the shark fin antenna and LED daytime running lights. All of these features, when combined, give the new BRV a bolder and more masculine presence on the road. Our new grand concept is uh, enhanced SE image. In that sense, our exterior design, we newly developed this front grille and front bumper and rear bumper to be more uh, masculine image. And also, upper grills, we apply LED daytime running lights and the shark wing antenna and then bumper skid garnish to be more premium image. <laughs> Moreover, the test drive event also highlighted the comfort and convenience brought by the BRV's interior design. Both the drivers and passengers remain comfortable throughout the drive thanks to the Apple legroom and headroom and its large window openings. The new BRV's improved noise vibration and harshness further gave the participants a truly relaxing ride. The test drive event also demonstrated the performance capabilities of the new BRV through various road conditions. The initial drive from Manila to Bataan allowed the participants to experience its powerful yet efficient drivetrain while cruising along the North Luzon Expressway and Subic Clark Tarlac Expressway, courtesy of the 1.5 liter SOHC IV Tech engine that produces 120 horsepower and 145 newton meters of torque and its continuously variable transmission. CVT has getting the uh, G-shift control, more early accelerations, uh, more powerful yet efficient performance to be uh, realized about uh, these new models. To further test its power, the team went through the mud-built pad in the area of Baga. When we traverse, for instance, uphill and the downhill road, we we're able to see, for instance, how powerful it is. Especially when we went through the mud filled path in the area of Bagak and the Maribeles Road, wherein we we're able to check how powerful really this car is. The car Philippines says that new BRV could strongly compete against its competitors in the market as it is fuel efficient, bold, and capable of powering through any road condition. Our BRV is very strong, powerful, still affordable SUVs. Uh, all medias drove from the Manila to Bataan to test drive, especially fuel efficiency, very good extra design, interior design. They really enjoyed it, I hope. Winning points is a fastly, powerful yet very efficient, powerful power trains, which you can enjoy driving as you like. And then, fuel efficient performance is also very good. And also, our this enhanced SUV image design to be more stylish but a premium image, so which can stand out in the Filipino roads. 
There are actually uh, families who are just starting and you want, for instance, to look for a uh, car that you could use, for instance, for your out-of-town trips. I think this is the good car for you. It's very powerful, it's very comfortable, it's very spacious, and it's also efficient. So this is actually a vehicle for you. That was all about the Honda Test Drive event featuring the refreshed 2019 BRV. It successfully highlighted the power and capabilities of the latest model from Honda. We hope you enjoyed. And up next is another exciting feature in Autos of the World. This time around, the 2019 Mercedes-Benz A250e. Let's watch this. Plug-in hybrids are an important milestone on the road to zero-emissions driving. Mercedes-Benz Cars is pushing ahead with the development of its plug-in hybrids under the EQ Power label. Models from the compact car family with the third-generation hybrid drive are now celebrating their premiere, the A250e and A250e Saloon, and can be ordered now at prices from €36,943.52 and €37,300.53. Sale of the B250e starts a few weeks later. Market launch of the models will take place this year. The EQ power for the A and B class underscores Mercedes-Benz plug-in initiative. The company aims to extend its offering to more than 20 model variants by 2020. The vehicles belonging to Mercedes-Benz compact car family feature transversely mounted engines. A compact hybrid traction head has been developed for the 8FDCT dual-clutch transmission, which follows the same technical principles as the corresponding component on the vehicles with a longitudinally installed engine. It is a permanently excited synchronous machine as an internal rotor. The stator is permanently integrated in the traction head housing, while the low-loss wet clutch is incorporated in the electric machine's rotor. On-demand stator and rotor cooling allow the use of the electric motor speak and continuous output without any problems. The electric machine achieves 75 kilowatts together with the 1.33 liter four cylinder engine. This adds up to a system output of 160 kilowatts or 218 horsepower and a system torque of 450 newton meters. Thanks to the EQ power of the electric machine, the A250e and B250e react immediately to a step on the accelerator and the performance is impressive. The A250e, for example, requires 6.6 .6 seconds for the sprint from zero to 100 kilometers per hour and its top speed is 235 kilometers per hour. The things that make my day. My mini-me. My kind of jam. My passion. My blend of coffee. My inspiration. That's all good with the all-new Vios. My Vios. My drive. Part of the 2019-2020 Autofocus People's Choice Awards, the only nationwide poll to determine the country's most popular car brands and models. It's easy. Log on to www.autofocus.com.ph slash AFPCA2019. Then vote for as many as five different models that you believe should become the 2019-2020 Autofocus Automobile of the Year in separate standard and premium luxury categories. Vote every day until September 30, 2019. The Autofocus People's Choice Awards will win. You choose, you decide. Vote now. Suzuki, all new El Tiga. Life is beating fast. Find what you're waiting for.
seven-seater in style. All new El Tiga debut. Welcome back. We have more cars for you to know and appreciate here in Autofocus as we have our second car review this week. The first ever Ford Ranger Raptor is finally in the market and has already been making waves. In this car review, find out all about the new pickup truck that added thrill to the segment. Watch this. Ford Ranger Raptor is obviously based on the Ford Ranger, an attempt by the brand to create a super truck. Under its hood is a 2.0-liter bi-turbo diesel engine that is capable of releasing 213 PS of power and 500 newton meters of torque. These engine figures are mated to a 10-speed automatic transmission. At a glance, it's not that hard to see that the Ranger Raptor is larger than the standard Ranger. In fact, it's 150 millimeters wider and 50 millimeters taller than the latter. And because it's bigger, it has a ground clearance of 283 millimeters. What more, since Ford was aiming to elevate any off-road experience, the car maker also tweaked the Ranger Raptor's suspension system. Ford has repeatedly said the Fox Racing Shock's coilover suspension all over improves the chassis and the suspension system by 30% compared to the standard Raptor. Although the Ranger Raptor is technically based on the Ranger, its design leans more towards the styling of the F-150 Raptor. It retains Ford's signature black grille, only this time, it comes with a huge lettering of the brand's name within it. The bumper also houses this set of bold yet subtle LED fog lamps. It comes with air curtain ducts for less wind resistance as well. Overall, the Ranger Raptor looks rugged and aggressive, as it should be since it's designed for conquering tough terrains. Meanwhile inside, it screams a Ranger all over. There's not a lot of changes in it. The dashboard and the cabin both look basic and straightforward. However, whatever buttons and controls there are, they're helpful. More on this later on. The steering wheel has a red center strip at the top of the wheel, which helps the driver monitor tire direction while drifting and cornering. But if there's one thing that stands out about the Ranger Raptor's interior are the front seats. The way they grip one's body when driving off-road thanks to the fact that they are body contoured, plus they're wrapped in leather with suede inserts, which makes up for the simplicity of the rest. More about the seats. The driver's seat is 8-way power adjustable, while the passenger seat comes in 6-way manual. On the other hand, the rear seats come with fold-up function. Adding to the lights of the Ranger Raptor's interior is its infotainment system. It's not a lot or too advanced, but it does its job. It comes with an 8-inch touchscreen display, which is equipped with Sync 3, and is available in Bluetooth, AM, FM, and CD connectivity with audio courtesy of six speakers. Let's go back to the buttons and controls. The majority of it is designated to provide additional convenience for both the driver and the passengers. For one, the Ranger Raptor comes with Terrain Management System, which offers six preset driving modes that work depending on the terrain the truck is faced with. One of them is the Baja Mode, inspired by the Baja 1000 Desert Race, which dials down traction, improves responsiveness and shifting speed, and optimizes the truck's high-speed desert running. Other features that come with the Ranger Raptor are satellite navigation system, electronic stability control, hill start assist, load adaptive control, hill descent control, and trailer sway control.
That was the Ford Ranger Raptor, a pickup truck that offers more than what ordinary pickup trucks do. Hi, this is Sydney, and today we'll talk about shock absorbers. So this is your vehicle shock absorber. As the name implies, it absorbs the shock of the bad roads that we have here in the Philippines. Now, old timers will ask you and then, ano ba yung shock mo? Fluid or gas? Wala nang fluid shock ngayon. They're all gas shocks. But here's the thing. Inside here is both gas and fluid. It's called gas shock because up here there is pressurized nitrogen gas here, but the shock absorption it's still done by oil, it's still a fluid. It's just that the old, old shocks don't have any pressurized gas and it's just fluid. So now, it's both gas and fluid. All shocks right now are like that. As you can imagine, this thing goes up and down to absorb the shock. This is actually called a McPherson strut, after, named after the guy who invented it. So what that simply means is that there is a basso here where the spring sits. This bolts on to the axle and the hub, and this bolts to the chassis. So the big question is, how do you know if sirat na yung shocks mo? The easiest, fastest, and most sure way to find out, you have to take the shock out of the car to be able to tell if it's busted or not. So here we have two shocks. One is new, one is old. This one is busted, and I'll show you why. As you can see, it don't go up no more. Effectively, this thing is not absorbing any shock at all. And we compare it to a new shock. As you can see, it has to go up on its own and it has to go up pretty fast. If it doesn't go up this fast, it's also busted. Or dead or dying. New, old, dead, alive. You may have heard the old school advice also. You make kalog kalog the car to see if the shocks are okay. That is also not true, and I'll show you why. We have several cars here to demonstrate. The old school wisdom is, if it does that, that the shock is okay. No, not necessarily. Because what you're doing is just pushing down on the spring, and it just goes up. What makes the shock goes up is actually the spring. Then we have here another car. It doesn't go up or down, so what does that mean? The shock is busted? No, it's not. BMs are really like that. That's why the handling is good. Uh, here, we have a Fortuner. It bounces a lot more than the Ford Explorer. But is the shock dead? No, it's not. It's just really like that. <laughs> so that method doesn't really work. You cannot be certain if your suspension is good or bad just by doing the bounce test. No, because every car behaves differently when you bounce it. So the only real way to know if your shock is good or bad is to have it taken out and then do the press test what I just did. Ano magandang bilhin na shock? You can always, always buy OEM. You can go to the casa, buy whatever that they're selling, and then call it a day. It is, after all, the same spec as what you have. If you're looking for something cheaper, get one of these, KYB XLG. This is pretty much the same spec as the original shock, but of course at a cheaper price. And chances are, if you have a Japanese car, KYB has an application for it. So this is a front shock. This is a rear shock. This, I believe, is for a Honda Jazz. This, I believe, is for a Lancer. If you want to step up from something better, KYB also has this. It's called a new SR Special. It looks exactly the same as the shock that's going to be taken out. The big difference is what's inside here. This one will actually give a better ride than what you have because, like I said, it's a shock absorber. It's better at absorbing the shock. And there are things that make it slightly better. A bigger and fatter shaft than the original one. The piston inside here is also better than the valving is also slightly different. And this one is built to take lowering springs if your ride is lowered. Because if you put lowering springs on a OEM shock, chances are in less than a year, your shock ain't gonna work no more as well. So might as well get a set of these. And for German cars, there's only one go-to brand. It's Bilstein. That's it. <laughs> So there, hopefully, you have now a better understanding of what your vehicle shock absorbers does 
and how to spot if it's busted. And that's all the focus this week. And on behalf of my dad, Butch Gamboa, we hope you have found this edition of your Automobile Electronic Magazine informative as well as entertaining. You can also check us out on our Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram accounts. Until the next time, this has been Ray Louis Gamboa. <laughs>